Hey everybody, today we're gonna do what we do in a day with my six month old. It gets really hot here in Texas, so we have to leave by 7.30 to go on a walk. Usually, if we can go earlier than that, that's even better because it's cooler, but no later than 7.30. It is 7.05 right now, so we are gonna go on our first activity today, which is a walk. And what you didn't see is earlier today, he woke up about 6.15, changed him, fed him. Until our next feeding, we're just gonna have fun and do activities. All right, while he's rolling around in his walker, I'm gonna make my coffee really fast. And if you love iced coffee, like I do, um, and you want something really simple and not like brew it yourself, but it still tastes really good, get this. It's Starbucks iced coffee medium roast, subtly sweet. It's so good. Okay, he's running me over. Come here, okay. And then I just put some oat milk in it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> and just a splash, because I like my coffee without anything, but when I'm drinking cold coffee, I just gotta have a little bit of something. And then just add a straw. Got these off Amazon. Are you ready to go on the walk? Uh-oh, Boaz heard me. Boaz, are you ready to go on a walk? <laughs> All right, that means let's go. Okay, while Boaz is using the bathroom, on walks I always bring Gates something to drink and he has a fan and I attach two toys to the actual stroller so that he can't throw them out but he has something to play with. Boaz is really, really good with the stroller. He has to just stop and sniff and that's totally fine but I'm gonna show you how he walks with the stroller. We took him to training right before I had the baby and he's just, he's awesome natured. So like, watch. So yeah, he's very good. He just stays right with the stroller, right with the baby. And then we stop and let him sniff if he wants to, but I wanted to show you this while he's doing his thing. My cup is sitting in a cup holder that I got from Amazon, and then you can slide your phone right here. Usually I will listen to YouTubes or podcasts or music and just slide my phone right there, and it's so easy and nice. Did you have a good walk? Yeah. And mommy knows you had a good walk. I'm gonna let Gates sit there and get strapped in a while. I give Boaz his water and we got a drink off camera. So now we're gonna read a book. Gates loves books and I think that's all because I have always made it a point to read to him. He has his own library in his nursery, but these are his favorite ones. So we've just kind of been sticking to these recently, but at bedtime, we'll pull a new book and introduce it. But these are the ones we've been reading throughout the day for repetition. So The Very Hungry Caterpillar, he loved this book so much. It's Never Touch a Dinosaur, and it is one of the cutest books about how you should never touch dinosaurs, but it has these cool filling things in them. He loves this book so much that this week, I bought him Never Touch a Polar Bear, and he has just been feeling, feeling, feeling this. And they have other ones that you can buy. And like I said, we use these three for repetition. Then I also have this book and a few others that he likes in Spanish so that he can, I'm learning Spanish right now, Adam is already pretty good, um, but it helps me learn and it also helps him kind of recognize a little bit of the words in the pictures so that hopefully he's getting a head start. So um, there is that. So I think today, since I bought this book this week, 
we're going to read this book together. When I read a book to him, I always follow the words with my fingers, and then I have him touch the book with both hands, and then I'll point out things in the book, so like there, and then have him put his hand on it or whatever. So let's do it, you ready? Never touch a polar bear. Okay, fill it with this hand. You feel the polar bear? Okay, fill it with this hand, fill that polar bear. All right, let's turn the page. You must never touch a polar bear. You must never touch a penguin who skates past in a flash. All right, moving on. Never touch a dinosaur. Okay, we just got done reading. Now watch him. When he does this, it means he wants to snuggle and take a nap. He's going to take him in his nursery where it's really dark, yes, and we're gonna take our first nap of the day. Yes! Mwah. was so ready to go down. I have the monitor. I have to close that door because Boaz's doggy door is right here down the hallway and it makes such a loud noise, but I have the monitor. And it's so funny because it's taken us a long time for him to go have a good schedule sleep-wise. Like he would go down, but then wouldn't stay down or me transferring him from me to his crib, he would wake up every time, and then finally it's just like, ah, I can breathe. Everyone told me it would get better, and it did. He went down so fast. I'm with him every day, so I know his cues for when he gets sleepy, so that really helps, and I can immediately go in there, and we have the sound hatch machine on, and then it's just dark. We have blackout curtains in there, and then I sing him one of the lullabies that I don't know if my mom made up when I was little, but she would sing to me and my brother. And I started singing it to him when he was a newborn because I was kind of trying to pass the time to like <laughs> get him to sleep and I started singing it. I'm not singing it for you guys because I cannot sing. But now it's like every time I sing it, he's like, okay, I, it's time to go to sleep. So that's really nice. So I get it why moms sing lullabies now. As a new mom, I get it. I'm learning every day. I don't know how long he'll be down for, so I'm going to take advantage of this time and immediately start on laundry. <laughs> Did you have a good nappy? What's Boaz doing back there? Boaz is never too far away. <laughs> All right. I changed his diaper. We have pants on now because we're about to go crawl around on the floor in the living room and play with some toys. And that protects his little legs because we have hardwood floor. And we have a new rug, but dad and I have to put it together because we just got it in today. Yeah, we just got it in today. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready to go play? Let's go play. All right, I put him on the floor so he can kind of crawl to the living room. Come on. You better come here. Come on, you do so good. He sees the new rug. Come on. Are you getting distracted? Come on, Kate. Come on. Here is one toy we're gonna play with. And this toy he's very fascinated with because the top has little balls in it. But this is also good for him to practice sitting up. So, I'm gonna let him play with this a little bit, see what he does. Whoa! Oh, he found a book. I'm telling you guys, he loves books. You wanna see the Itsy Bitsy Spider book? Open it up. You can see all back there is like new furniture and things for our living room. So like I said, we don't have a rug yet. So I have a play mat here, what the play mat looks like. One side you can like drive cars and stuff on. And then the other side is the alphabet. It's been really helpful. We are going to have some food. Yes. So one of my neighbors has chickens and she let us have some eggs from 
her chickens. So it even says Gates from Ann. So we are going to make some scrambled eggs for him. At six months, they're able to have eggs. We've already introduced eggs, so we know he's good with them. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And here's what the eggs look like. Aren't they cute? I mean, it is truly farm to table. So I'm gonna cook this really quick. Okay, I'm not gonna go through every single little detail that we're doing, just like the bigger parts of our day. Like he's already had a bottle. Um, what else? We've had a couple of changes. Um, what else? There's a few things that nobody saw, huh? Mm -hmm. So we are right now, he's sitting in his chair. We, I'll link this chair for you guys too, because it's awesome. You can buckle him in and all of that, but we're going to eat some real food. Yeah. We also in our freezer have a lot of uh, pureed things that Adam's mom has done, like squash and potatoes and, and different kind of things like that. Um, and he does really well with them. Okay, now we're gonna eat. I've put this on the table for to put his eggs in, but you can like pull this and it doesn't come up. It like suction, so it's really cool, especially when they're just like playing with texture and, and figuring out the food inside instead of throwing the bowl. Um, so yeah, we have that. It kind of moves so you can get it off the table, but it's not like he can pick it up. Like I can't even pick it up. So that's pretty cool. So let's put some food in it. You want to? Yeah. Also, I'm not gonna go in depth or detail about his daily schedule because every baby is different and you know your baby best. And I don't want anyone to watch this and think, oh, I need to do this with my baby. Like, you know what's best for you and your kid. And um, I have the luxury of being with him all day. So I don't want anyone to feel pressure like they have to do what I do. I'm just sharing like a little bit. I'm not even going in depth about his schedule or anything because like I said, I don't want anyone to feel any type of way. So let's get these eggs on the table. Okay. Oh, excuse you. Okay, we did pretty good with the eggs and whatever fell in the floor, Boaz was more than happy to pick it up. So we're gonna get cleaned up and move on to another activity. Okay, a little outfit change. Now we're gonna play with something I've shown you guys on my Instagram, if you follow me over there, that he has loved ever oh. since he's like three months old and we were working on tummy time and all of that. So it is this thing, you can fill it up with water and move the little animals around in it. So we're just gonna play with this for a little while. I will link this for you as well. Also, while we're down here, I have him stand up for some activities just to get his leg muscles strong and we'll practice walking and all of that too. But this is a pretty cool toy for him to take a ball. Yeah, and chew on it. And then we take the ball and put it in here and he watches it go round and round. Good for sensory because all the balls have different, uh, all the balls have different types of patterns on them so he can feel and then also just really good motor skills to try to put it in the hole and watch it go down. And then pick it back up, have him take it from my hand. Can you put the ball in there? Woo! Good job. We need a little bit of mommy's help, but that's okay. That's why I'm here. Try to do a lot of activities where he's on his legs and feet too, just so that he gets the practice of balance and makes these leg muscles good and strong. Good job. Also, just as a side note, these frozen passies have been a lifesaver. I'll link those for you guys as well. He loves them because it really helps soothe his gums. So if you're a mom that lets your baby have a passy, I really recommend these for when they're teething. I don't give him a passy hardly at all through the day, but if he's really struggling and gnawing on his hands, I'll give him this and he really likes to chew on it. 
Okay, we just finished our second nap. He's red on one side of his face because he really likes to sleep on his face. It really used to scare me when he first started rolling over that he slept like that. That's just how he's always been. So now I don't have to worry because he's big enough to roll himself back over. So um, I got some work done on my computer. I switched over the laundry. Um, and then I got a text from a neighbor who's coming over with her little girl and we're gonna get the babies all ready to go out in the pool. How fun is that? A little girlfriend coming over, yeah. Okay, our friends are here hey. and we're gonna get in the pool and splash and swim around. It's been a while since Daisy and Gates saw each other so we let them play in the floor and Gates was so intrigued by her and kind of showing her how to play with his toys. It was really cute. So, hi, Daisy. So, we're going to splash around for a little bit. You ready? <laughs> so much fun swimming with Caroline and Daisy. We ate, the babies fell asleep. Caroline and I ordered um, some sandwiches. And now we're gonna go over to the neighbor's house and play with some chickens, cause she has some chickens. So we'll see if they're out and maybe get some eggs. Ooh, melon. What do you think, Gates? Hey, where's Sandy Kenny? <laughs> There's Jess He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What'd you think? Go get her. You can't get his passy. Gates. Look. What's oh. his? What's his? Look, Gates. Gates. Gates, look, look, look at the egg. Now daddy's home. So while Adam takes out the trash and waters the lawn and does some chores outside, we always sit in the grass and then Boaz is out here with us as well. Is it bright out here? Baby Gates, Baby Gates, hey Baby Gates, hey buddy. Oh. He's trying to grab it. Hey, hey, <laughs> little baby, <laughs> little baby, <laughs> little baby, <laughs> little baby, <laughs> heavy. You're so heavy. Hey, Sam. Hi, buddy. We've had a big day today. We're getting tired and cranky. So we just got done eating. We're now gonna take a bath. And I'm not gonna show him in the bath. So this is our farewell. Say bye, Gates. He's so sad. It's okay, Bubby. Okay, thanks guys, bye.